Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is a card fold. And the card fold I am doing is a swing card. And it's perfect for this uh, one because I've released my stamp of the month for July. And the July one has a card fold in it, and it is a swing card as one of your cards in there so this will show you how to do a swing card and you can tie it to uh, the stamp of the month if you decide to order it all the details are on my site uh, the stamp and pink rose as I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you will find the stamp of the month information over on the one side I think it's shopping maybe ideas and tutorials but I think it's shopping so you'll find it there, and you can always pay with PayPal. But anyway, getting back to what we're doing today. What I've done is I've grabbed a piece of green, all of green cardstock. It's our standard uh, five and a half by a, a eight and a half. And I'm going to score it at four and a half like we do all the time. Okay. So I'm going to score it. And it's just simply scored like we always do. Okay, and then I'm just simply folding it in half like we do. Just like this. So it's our standard card. Okay. Well, I've got my cutter up here. And by the way, let me show you the card. This is what it looks like. And I'll tell you the stamp set I used in just a minute. I made this really simple here for us today. Um, this piece needs to be at five, your white piece. And I'm doing it this way because I gotta move my cutter. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. And then by six. Okay. So just get everything assembled and ready to go, and then you'll be fine. Then I'm going to score it at two inches. And four inches okay all right that's all we need to do <coughs> and excuse me all of a sudden I felt a sneeze coming on okay so I'm gonna set my cutter down on the floor I'm going to bring up my big shot and I'm gonna set that up at the top and I'm gonna hope that you can see this I'll look up above and see this is the card. Let me stand. This is the card that we were talking about. This side of it here, which will be your front side, you're going to want to wear or use your um, square. And I've got one that is about three and a fourth by three and a fourth. Okay, I'm going to put it on my plate. I'll bring my plate up and let you see it. Let me get it on the plate. Okay. It's on the plate just like this. Okay. And I know my plate's all scratched up. But it's on the plate just like this. And now I'm going to, i got to turn this around. I'm going to crank it through like we always do. I think you all know how to do with the big shot if you've got a question how to use the big shot go to my tutor rolls and you'll find a video on that okay and in the process I may have done this a little crooked I don't know it looks pretty good now you have this cut out you have this and you have this okay and I did forget one thing so let me grab it I think this size will do. Let me check it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I've got a piece of white scrap, and it's about three inches, and it's going to be by three. So I'm going to cut that. Okay. And I want a contrast, and I didn't bring that, so let me grab it. Okay. 
I'm bringing out just a, pair, a piece of brown cardstock is what I'm doing. We don't need our plate anymore, but I do need my cutter back up here. Thought I had everything cut, but didn't. So I'm going to move this off to the side. So now, as I said, so I'm going to make this one about three fourths my brown by three fourths. Okay. You want it to fix through your window. Now I'm going to set this down. Okay. Now we have this and we have this and this is a little bigger than I want. Somehow I cut it larger than I planned. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm going to cut. Yep, I did. I cut it three and a half. Gee. Boy, my eyesight must be going, guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Now that should be better. Okay. Let's see how that looks. I want that just a little smaller than three four. So I'm going to put it just a little mark right below it. I want it just a hair smaller, not much. Okay. Just a little below three. And you can play with this and get it the way you want it. Okay, now that should, I'm hoping, do it. And then what you're going to do is take any design that you want. And I've got Tempting Turquoise. And you're going to stamp it. All right. Whoops. Okay. How did I do that one? Okay, I grabbed the wrong ink one. I've got two parts going. Boy, it's just been one of these days. Okay. Anyway, I grabbed the Faith one, which I'm using on another card I've got in there. I'm working on the Beautiful Cancer one. Okay, upside down. That's the way I do this. Okay. All right. All right. And then I need to... I'm just not with it today. Got my adhesive. Okay, sorry. I think I've got everything now. So now all I'm doing is adhering this that I just stamped. Move this out of the way. That I just stamped on here. Okay? All right, so now let's get this assembled. Okay, I'm going to lay that up there for the moment. You've got your card this way. Okay, now you're going to fold it down and up. And I'll open this just like this. So, fold it down and up. Now you've got this. Now you'll need some tear tape. Okay. And you'll flip it in the last panel. The last panel. You'll want a couple pieces. And I like using the tear tape. And it is in the catalog. Because it's a little more sturdy. Okay. And if this is too long when I get done... With the whole card, I can cut it when I get my scissors in the other room. Okay, so now you have it like this, the tear tape. And I just use three, I mean two, on the third panel. Okay. <coughs> and you can do decorative or whatever you want if you want to do a border across the top. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so now we've got it just like this. Now remember this that I did, and I want to make sure. Okay, 
that I did like this, okay, that's going to go and be able to swing in and out, okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I don't know what got me, guys. Something got me coughing. You're going to want two pieces of the tear tape on one side. I want to make sure. Yeah. Two on the, and it will be on the right side is what you're going to want it on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. So now you can see, I've got tear tape on two. Okay, I don't have it on this side. Now I'm going to pull this off. Well, my, I'll start with this one first. My nails are not working the best today. Okay, there's one. And here comes the other. Okay, now you can see you've got two pieces. Okay, that will go about right here, and then that will be able to go in and out on your card. Okay, and I just have this not centered right. So, it'll go in and out just like it does on this card here. So you've got it, and you can write on this side, but it'll go in and out of your window on this. Okay, so this is, this is your card fold, and it's called a um, flip card. Okay, so here we go. It flips open just like that. Okay. This is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with another, another card fold for you. And don't forget that this is a technique you'll be using with your Stamp of the Month if you decide to order the product. And check my site out, Stampin' Pink Rose, where stamping ideas are always in bloom. Um, have any questions, email me at...